All right. I am old. I played a lot of video games that are old. They weren't old when I started playing them. But they're old now. Um, and I don't think I'm going to go too far back tonight. Well, no. I, we'll see. Let's start with something not too old. Just something to make sure this all works. Um, Cause I have a no, yeah, <laughs> it's old old man old mom's games, old grandpa's games. This one isn't that old. Um, I just know a lot of people who were like born after this game came out, and that's frightening to me. But um, oh. that was a notification. Oh, somebody called. Okay, those work. Cool. Forgot I added this. Thank you for following. But I know who you are, so it's like, that makes sense. All right. This is a really dumb video game. Those graphics. And that sound. Alright. Bingo! One of the greatest things about arcade games is the insert coin sound. Bingo! Bingo! Let's go! I think this game's supposed to take place in 1997, or it wasn't, or 2000, it's actually not really like that far in the future. Let me know if the game audio is too loud, I will turn it down. Actually, was not bad. Like, that's probably one of the better ports uh, that came out for this game. The uh, any the probably th <laughs> there were some bad ports of this game. I'll tell you that much. Virtual Fighter had a good point uh, in certain point sound. That's for sure. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh my God, those boobs! Not safe. The art in this game is pretty fantastic. It's got that great midway sound design. There's just some good sounds in this. The weapon running out of juice sound is real good. The music's real good. Ah. It's a trap. This game is also pretty much impossible. Like, actually, there's probably somebody out there who's, like, good at video games that can actually legit beat this. I don't think I've ever seen it done. I don't think I've looked for it. Maybe that'll be a GDQ one day, like, the Smash TV speedrun. Maybe somebody's already done that. I'll look it up. on that landmine. Eat my shrapnel. So edgy. The 90s were weird. This was 1990s when this came out. Uh, not the most violent game, but pretty, pretty gory. This predates Mortal Kombat by a few years. Um, we're going to play probably something much more gory later tonight, tonight if uh, things go away and land. Waves and waves and energy. Just get the cash. Get that toaster. Collect, collect the thousand. Ah, bet. They like to put items 
to pick up over landmines and get full yet. Yeah! Which is pretty unfair, but also... This game... Old arcade games are kind of terrible in that uh, they're designed to eat your money. I knew a guy who uh, managed an arcade uh, locally back when this game was new. And he put a coin uh, yeah. machine right next to this cabinet, and it made them a lot of money. Brand new VCR. So they start laying the enemies on pretty thick. It starts pretty easy. Um, and then it just instantly ratchets up to near impossible. This game's a little different with two players. It's actually a pretty good two-player game. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. That's a good... I love the, the voice. One. Ten seconds. Uh. But like the, the default weapon is like impossible to fight off this many dudes. Woo! And even some of the special weapons, like this one's kind of alright. Great, get you by. I'm almost to the. I can't remember where the boss is. The shield, not screw. The crowd is not happy with that. Ten seconds. Like it's kind of weird how like a game like this doesn't really work today with the way arcades aren't really a thing anymore. Uh, I don't know if you've been to an arcade in a while. But I went to a weird arcade in North Carolina uh, a few years ago, and it was like point, like Fruit Ninja is an arcade game. That seems really weird to me. Uh, Doodle Jump. Like, these are phone games, now they're in the arcade. It's all just to get rid of stuff. Like, a game like this just doesn't exist anymore. I guess, um... What are the, those guys they make up in the arcade? I can't remember. Ten seconds. They make like new. Doesn't need a Ninja Turtles game. Bingo! Contestant one. It's just rare now. Like it's weird. But you know, at the time this came out, like the SNES was just kind of kind of new. SNES was a, ninety or ninety-one. The SNES came out. New to it, man. Big money. Boss. Those girls are twins, I know it. This, so the boss, you get a special gun which has the best sound. This guy is angry. Alright, so this gun has. Ah, damn it. I gotta get it, I gotta get it. Uh, he's pretty much impervious to everything but special weapons. And he can move faster than you. Alright, so this gun, if I can pick it up. It's the best one. I love the sound it makes. He's so mad. Long before Mortal Kombat 2, 
the trend for multiple body parts blowing off of you. Contestant one. He's probably got 20 rib cages in there. He's so mad. Why are you so mad, you twit man? He's got a thousand rib cages. He's got a million heads. That's how bodies work. Oh my god, how is he still going with no head? That's impossible. He's so mad. I'm supposed to ricochet off of him. Like so you can like your score is an element of the play field, which is neat. You don't really see a lot of that back then. Yeah, toasters. I have so many cars now. Not just a VCR, but a Super VCR. I've got like a thousand now. Uh, that seems to work. All right. Smash TV is a good video game. It's a bad video game in like the long run, but it's a good video game. All right. I want to play some old games, like real old. Um. So back. A million years ago, there was a company called Exidy. Uh, I don't think they're still around. Um, they made a, a piece of hardware. Basically, it was a series of... Uh, mostly used to make uh, a series of light gun games. Um, I think starting around 84 was the first one. Maybe it was 83. I didn't play this in 83 because I wasn't that old. Um... But they made a bunch of them. They all just kind of ran on the same, you know, hardware. You can just switch, both swap the boards out, and it was a pretty interesting idea for the time, I suppose, just to have this very realistic-looking gun attached to an arcade cabinet. You shoot with iron sights. Uh, we're using a mouse for this, so not gonna be quite as exciting. But some of these are a little insane. Um, so I think we'll start with. Crossbow, which is the first one. Let me make sure the controller works right. Version 2.0. Uh, this hardware also had a very long boot sequence. Start button to continue. That's a good na that's a good noise. Uh, so crossbow is a light gun game. <laughs> this is from 1983. Um, the object of this is to protect the 
rather generic. You will die. You will die. This this hardware also had some very early voice stuff, which was really great. Um, so the idea is to protect the pretty generic heroes. You have some choices here from death by using your crossbow to shoot the things that would otherwise kill them. So you got this fancy dude, and oh, these are bad things. You got to make sure that. Oh, no, he's a good guy. There's a ghost. Don't want that to hit him. Lightning bolt. Just shoot it. Shoot shoot lightning bolts with bullets. Shoot wizards with bullets. Shoot ghosts with bullets. That's a good sound. She should... Yep, I don't know what her deal is. These are bad adventurers, is, is kind of how this game works, because they're like, whatever, man, the crossbow guy's going to handle it. Curse you. Curse you. Now, this is, like, real easy with a mouse, because this is meant to be with using, a, like, a, basically a gun with iron sights. It made it a lot harder. There was no reticle on the screen. <sighs> Alright, so we took the red path. I guess we go to... Let's try the green path. I don't know what that means. Alright, we're gonna go there. Oh, it's a bridge. Alright. Frog. I bet that frog's bad. That bird's probably bad. That's bad. That I don't know what that... Alligators. That's a fish dude. It's a meteor. <laughs> Being an adventurer is hard. It's an eyeball! Shoot the eye. That's probably bad. Um, she's lagging behind all the time. I don't know what her deal is. Oh, oh God, she, Jesus! <laughs> Holy, <laughs> oh no! That was just, I don't, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, um, boy, that just went bad real fast. There's some money on the ground. They get oh they have to probably get that. Alright. Uh oh, that's weird. Those are that's definitely how monkeys look. Um That's Watch out for co yeah, coconuts, because that's how the jungle works. I guess she's just dead now. That monkey grabbed that bird. That's weird. Oh, and uh, don't shoot my friends. I don't remember her. Maybe she's new. She's like, hey, what happened to the other lady? And nobody just, nobody talks about it. Is it like, Bulma Flintstone? Like, <laughs> She's got a look. Again, oblivious adventurers in the jungle. All right, we got a new friend. All right. <laughs> we don't talk about the other lady. Um, let's go to the blue path. All right. I don't really, unless I'm missing it, I don't see a way to tell what path to take here. Run aground. That's probably bad. Oh, oh, dwarfy man. Oh, these bats. A lot of these sounds are recycled in later games, you'll notice uh, when we get to them. Oh, oh my god, I didn't even see what happened to him. The dwarf, like, it happened right in, like, his friend. He's been adventuring with him for at least five screens now. And he doesn't care. It's like, whatever, just, nope. Follow the path. <laughs> Slow and steady. These are bad adventurers. I'm a bad crossbowman, but... So even with the mouse, these, some of these things really have tiny hitboxes. Which you can imagine. Ah, oh, we get a wizard. He's a new friend. I'm glad there's new ones, because the old we're gonna run out of old ones at this rate. Um Oh. Oh no okay. Just gotta double back to We're back in the jungle. Alright. Yeah, stand next to each other, because that's definitely... Oh, 
Oh, maybe, maybe they're like... They're secret lovers. And they're getting more comfortable with their, uh... That's, that's the head cannon now. That's that eye again. <laughs> Just throw birds at people. <laughs> Why don't you magic your way across? God, they're just strolling. No rush, guys. That coconut burst him into flames. Like, there was all that magic coming out of him. Just couldn't contain it. Yeah, this game has the rich lore. I don't think we get any more new friends. I think they're, like, tired of her bullshit. We're gonna go back here, I guess. I hate this level. The dwarf has been around the longest. That's right. He's kind of a smaller tar- Oh, oh come on! <laughs> Jesus. Why did you stop? Like, keep going, man. Thinking about stuff? Just get a lot on your mind? Oh, Jesus. Blue path. Alright, this is a castle. We're gonna get somewhere. Maybe there's a dragon here somewhere. Oh, this... <laughs> that sound! Oh! <laughs> oh god! Oh no! Dwarf didn't make it! You're on your own, lady! God, the sounds are so good, though! <laughs> Just... Oh no, we're back in the jungle! Oh. You're not gonna make it, lady. This gets harder, and... Yeah, don't take your... Yeah, she's moving fast. She's like, alright, let's... Just trying to get home. Green path, maybe? Alright. No, we have one friend left. She is the f she is our last friend. Alright. This is definitely a fantasy desert. These giant ants are kinda What even is that? Is that a like a Let me see that again? Oh, we got a new friend! <laughs> we found one in the desert! Oh, we're gonna go back to the city. Alright. Um... Oh my god, he, oh, he is tall. I'm sorry, new friend. You're not gonna last. It. You're, you're a big target. What is that one guy in the window? He's like a duck man. Is it a rabbit bounce? A I don't remember which passage was. Like I can't tell. I want to get to that volcano. I guess. Okay. Maybe we'll find a new friend in the volcano. Maybe the plot to Tekken will begin. Oh, this is bad. Why are why are we here? This oh, this is real bad. 
Why? No, you. First of all, put some shoes on. All right, nope, you're on. Nope, all right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Jesus. <laughs> those, those trumpets. All right. Uh. Oh. That's pretty good. That's definitely what a scroll rolling up sounds like. Good job, crossbow. <laughs> oh, video games are good. Uh... <laughs> What is that like a rabbit though? That's really weird. Yes, the dead. I guess that's that's cannot. That's you know, you and your you and your friends are dead. Yeah, no, I'm not dead. I'm fine. I got away. My friends are dead. Okay, that's <laughs> um. After crossbow came out, <laughs> somebody needs to oil that. Uh, oil that uh, scroll. It's kind of squeaky. Uh, after crossbow, what was it? Sh uh, yeah. Also, apparently Steam added it, or no, Twitch added achievements when I wasn't looking, which is weird. Um, the year after crossbow came out. Enable mouse input. Um, a similar game came out. That's a good sound. Um, <laughs> called Cheyenne. Uh, and rather than being a fantasy adventure, this is a western... Much with the same kinds of... Gameplay. Again, it's a light gun game. Bank ROM is okay. E2 prom initialist. First start room. Um Gunslingers. That's a title screen. That's a good sound. That's a good insert coin sound. Um this stars a man called Buster Badshot, and Buster Badshot is helpless, so we have to kind of help him. This being a traditional Western game, I'm sure this is going to have some very insensitive depictions of Native people. We're going to go after the Dalton gang, I guess, because I waited too long to pick. Those look like guys. <laughs> that guy is rocking that piano. That moose is moving. Ow. Oh, <laughs> oh, no! God, that's so hard to hit. Alright, that went bad. Oh, did I get him? Okay. I'll try it again. Moo. The bullets look like balls of trash. Is Donkey Kong out there? I got him. All right. That bison is about to come back in. Petticoat floozies. <laughs> the mooses. <laughs> uh, let's go to the... <laughs> yeah, petticoat floozies sounds pretty good. Oh! Th All right. I, mm, I don't know about this. Oh, my boy. Ugh. God, this... This hardware had some really good... Like, this is an 84. Like, digital sound and arcade games. You know, you have your Sinistars and your whatnot, but... It wasn't very prevalent. 
This game's got some pretty good sound. These, this, this, these games, like, I don't know. I'm into it. Again, like... Oh, dear. <laughs> That's what you say when you get shot in the Old West. That's how a lady gets shot. That's terrible. What is that? Like a gopher? So I just wandered around in a mine while my partner did all the work and shot these ladies, which is terrible. In the game. Hello. I want, like, Slew Foot Sue. That's a good name. It has, like, no idea what their crimes are. I guess we'll go after the problematic Native American stereotype. This is, I guess I can catch my goal, too. I don't know. Yep. That's... That's definitely... That was... At least he's doing something here. Running nose? Is his name literally running nose? That's terrible. This is a bad video game. Running nose. His name is running nose. Like... I hope they win. Like, I hope I just never beat this level. Oh, so, oh, you have to... Okay. Right. Buffalo breath. This is a stupid... This is a dumb game. Right. It's a really good horse. Like this bottle of water, or a bucket of water, which he conveniently has here. Because of the flaming arrow. doing on that horse? He's just like, oh. All right. Did he say Hail Satan? Like... Oh no, I don't think I have any more water. Yeah, Native Americans were really into Satan, it turns out. That's how that works. Uh. Oh no, I missed him. Oh! The piano, though. The soundtrack was very popular in Japan. That's not true. Do I have to get- I have to do them all again? Ugh. Like, stopping the bullets are, is, like, stupid precise. Like, this game is probably... I, I never played this one in the arcade. I played a few of these XD games. Uh, Hail Satan. Hail Satan. Egg. Shoot the egg. Hail Satan.
Oh, how is he hiding behind that cactus? There's like nothing. It's like a penis. That's weird. Pale face. Pale Satan. Uh, did it, wait? Maybe he said pale face, which is also not a great thing. All right, I think that's enough of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, that's not even, like, the worst thing that XD made in this series of, like, gun games. But that's pretty up there. Um, <sighs> the next in the series of great. All right, so after that came out, um, after another year, uh, go back to the drawing board and, like, make a game that's not... Yeah, pale face. That's hail Satan would have been better. Um, pale face is just. I don't want to talk about it. Um, Nineteen eighty-five. Uh, that game was eighty-four. This is eighty-five. So the sequel to Cheyenne and Crossbow was uh, also started with C. Like many of the games from the series, I think they had a thing for the letter C. I think so. I think every game. Every liking game of this harbor, I think, started with a C. Because that's just what they wanted to do, I guess. Um, <laughs> again, great voice samples. Uh, this is combat. Combat had a lot going for it. I don't remember it. At this, this one I've actually played in, in an arcade. Uh, cabinet. I don't remember it being problematic or having any not so flattering depictions of minorities. Um, that's a great sound. Combat Table of War Heroes. Um, that's a good sound, too. <laughs> Excuse me. So, we get the level select that rotates. We go to the country to liberate it. Continent. Um, we're going to liberate Canada. And the ocean battle. I have to protect these uh, ships with the yellow flags while using the ship. You press the start button. Oh no. I survived, but Canada still has not been liberated. That's a really bad Morse code sound. Um, so they added some more mechanics to this. It's a little more complicated, so I'll try it again. We're going to come back for you, Canada. Don't worry. Maybe we're not actually liberating Canada. Maybe we're liberating Canada. Like, we ran out of trees. And uh, Canada's got a bunch. Why not take those? Um, it's not dark now. So I have to blow up those pillboxes with this gun. Protecting. There we go. Alright, Canada. You're, you're saved. We're not. South America. The whole continent. Um, so this we have to protect the- there's a lot more variety in this game. In that, um, oh, thanks for the, uh, thanks for the follow. -up. Um, it's not just, like, adventurers or a bad cowboy to blow up- oh no, he just ran into the wall. I think I have to blow up this wall? Maybe I have to do it with a gun. Yeah. 
This canyon was just terrible. Um, thank you for playing. No, we're not. We're not giving up on the world. We gotta. We gotta save South America from whatever. I hope this is not like. This is eighty. What? Eighty-five, right? When was the Falklands War? Because that's weird. These jets are terrible. You gotta get the tank all the way to the other side and blow up that bunker. Presumably it's an Archie bunker, given the way given the way these games have been culturally sensitive. These planes are real bad. Fire, that's how that works. Yeah, we did it. Oh, I gotta get that bunker too, I think. Uh Aim at the bunker. No! I didn't shoot the fire. Okay. Um, I'll be doing this for a little bit. Oh, I guess I liberated it. Alright, good. We did it. Alright, Australia, you're next. It's probably Mad Max. We only got one ally left. This level reminds me of another game I like called Cabal, which we'll probably have to play sometime. Alright, well, I missed that. I really got the budget for one dude now. You're gonna have to come back, yellow man. Um, he's not liberated. We still have to... That one little bunker is all that was preventing Australia from being free. Distracted by the tiny helicopter. Oh no. I don't have to start over, do I? Uh. What happens when you have to enter your initials with a We have to save the world. Oh, we can save Africa now. We're going to save Europe. We're going to bomb some stuff. We're going to drop bombs on city. What city is it? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's not going to be there very long. Uh. Again, this is a light gun game. I can't believe it. Uh. <laughs> this is 
is Spec Ops the line. Yes, secretly. It turns out we were the villains the whole time. We were the bad guy. White phosphorus, etc. Spec Ops the line was a good game, by the way. It was a bad game. Like, it was not a good game, but, like, at some point during development, they are like, this isn't not... We can't make a good... We're not going to be Call of Duty. But we can make, like, a statement and, like, kind of put an interesting spin on this genre. And that is really what makes that game great. Um, so if you haven't played it, you want to play a, an anti-war war game, which is effectively what that is, um, I kind of recommend it. that plane. The hitboxes on these things are like really crazy. Africa, we're coming for you. We're gonna help. Maybe. Oh yeah, jungle battle. Sure. That's Africa. That's that's how that works. That's a knife. Is that a thing? Oh, it's. A... Okay, I guess we gotta rescue this dude. Oh! Oh! Oh no! It's a snake. Knives. Oh, the snake. Oh, damn. <laughs> we gotta rescue that guy from Africa. There's one guy in Africa. We have to rescue him. If we don't. Drums though, some polyrhythms. Yeah, it's a new tool song. All right, we need the rock. It's a puzzle game too. If you don't have the rock, then the guy just like falls into the quicksand, and just dies. <laughs> oh my god! Just the tree. Uh, we lived we liberated the country of Africa. Good day. That's how that works. We're gonna liberate Russia. Or at this time it was probably the USSR. So we got a dog fight. So we're in a plane. Balloon. Balloon. Alright. This one's real dumb. Like, I don't think I can get hit by anything. I guess I gotta blow up that health bar. I feel like they phoned this last one in. We're gonna save America last. I don't know who we are at this point. If we're not America, then who are we? Are we the UN? It's just like the UN is finally gonna get there, like step up and do something. Um, we have to blow up these hot air balloons. It's the only way.
hard to hit. Oh, we almost made it. Oh, whatever, I just said. I don't deserve it. Everybody's dead. The world is destroyed. By some faceless entity. Oh, I said I liberated Russia. We did good. Alright. I guess we have to liberate the United States. Oh, oh, no, no, Greenland's in trouble, guys. We gotta save Greenland. <laughs> Who lives there? God, that, Jesus. They want that submarine dead. Alright. I remember this level being, like, really cool for some reason when I was a kid. Something about the sounds. Jesus. Alright, well, Greenland saved, but at what cost? It's a good song. It's a real jam. Alright, we'll save the US for last. It's. Uh, you know what? It might be if you're fast enough. It's maybe easier. I don't know. This game again, arcade game, eight quarters. We're gonna save United States. The am the ammo dump. Yeah, all the ammo's in the U.S. That makes sense. Is this like Rally X? Oh god. Okay, that's something. Oh, what? What happened? Oh. <laughs> it just went bad all at once. Yes, she gotta shoot the oil. That's makes sense. That's how that works. Okay, you guys are taking a really circuitous route here. Oh, ah! Uh, damn it! We've almost saved the world, and all we got left is jeeps, and... Shoot the U.S. to save it. It's a faster route to the target, guys. No one give you a map. We did it. Leave the ah, ah, whatever. We liberated American reinforcements. We got American reinforcements. We saved the world, right? Oh, the China, I guess. Wait. Wh what? Alright, alright, first of all. <laughs> first of all. Alright. Uh, okay. No, that's not how. That's not. I have I have questions, I have concern, oof. Alright. I'm China and its rich tradition of Daikaiju, that's I thought we could get through a whole Exidy game without cultural insensitivity. Um and I was wrong. 
Okay, that was a real thing. <laughs> I don't know if, if I want to play the next one or not. I probably shouldn't. Um, nope, we're gonna we're gonna play some more um, of these dumb. <laughs> there's there's one we're gonna get to that. <laughs> Why was Godzilla in China? Like, I guess it's next door, but there are problems. There are many problems. Also, you push the action button to make them step on things, which I know that's popular with certain people. Uh, not really my thing, but... <laughs> All right. We're going to play something a little more... Maybe we can get through it without... I just I can't I can't believe that I I think I remember that but I forgot like what what like what were this like hey at the end we should have like the Godzilla come out and you know and that'll be a fun level what country is Godzilla from again I don't know one of those Asia ones China that's yeah yeah that's and that's how that game got made. That's just how that... I'm almost out of energy drink. <laughs> Pete Kaufman, best shot around. Uh, this is Clay Pigeon. Um... I think this predates Duck Hunt. I'd have to double check. Is that drum sample? Should we play the skeet shoot or the trap shoot? Maybe the skeet shoot. I don't actually know the difference between these. I don't know enough about clay pigeon shooting. Whoa! Ah, uh, skeet, skeet. Oh, I get one shot. All right, that oh. makes sense. Hey. Oh. 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 Yo, know, given like the, the the sheer nature of oh. like the other games running on this hardware, this seems relatively tame compared oh. to like adventurers oh. on a noble quest and weird wizards oh. and crazy saloon women that are oh. bad people for some reason or whatever that game was oh. and ragtime piano and save the world from the ambiguous oh. enemy forces and nah just shoot play pigeons oh oh <laughs> some vault voice oh. How many voice samples do we have for the word pull? Pull. Pull. I guess they could just throw pull. this in. Like, people were like... I don't think I've ever seen this one in the wild. Pull. I can, it, this seems relatively... Like, yeah, pull. it's a skeet shooting game. I've seen better skeet shooting pull. arcade games. Like, more interesting ones. There was a big projector screen one. Uh, incredible shooting. Prepare for bonus duck shoot. Oh. Does this predate duck hunt? I have to look that up now. Like, maybe this is like... Uh, duck's not even... Oh, my God. Oh, no. No. Uh... This is... This is a nightmare, actually. Thank God that's over. What? We need to come up with a sound for the continue screen. For the. <laughs> what was that noise? I. 
I guess we'll do the crap shoot. Is that where crap shoot? No, that's that's from dice. Trap shoot. After playing this at some point, I'm gonna have to like look up the history of skeet shooting oh. and figure out what these terms mean. Because right now this oh. just means we're on a mountainside instead of in a swamp. That up for me. Like, look, somebody Google oh. Duck Hunt and tell me what year that came out, because I'm really curious oh. now. Oh. 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 Because this came out in '86. Yeah, alright. I guess we're oh. like, yep, that duck hunt, that's popular. Oh. I think Exidy oh. is a US company, but I'm not sure of that off the top of my head. Oh. I th actually, I'm oh. pretty sure Exidy is a US company, because they pro if it was a Japanese company, they would have oh. gotten, they would have put Godzilla in the right country. Maybe oh. they thought it would be too hard to pick Japan from a level select. Oh. Oh. I should reiterate the light gun on this hardware oh. was like actually a rifle that was mounted to the oh. arcade cabinet. Um, so it's a little different from like the pistol type light gun that a lot of the early games were, or even later games. Oh, we can shoot ducks again, I guess. It's like the duck just disintegrates when you shoot it. Like, that's how... It's a dive bomb. There's no dog. Maybe that's, like... If we can make it... We can, like, that's where the trademark is. Like, you, Duck Hunt is a way better game than this. Like, if you're gonna shoot ducks... That sound, though. That sound makes it all worth it. If you're gonna shoot ducks in a, in, in clay pigeons in a video game with a light gun. Duck Hunt is the way to go. <laughs> That's a bit much. Alright. Um, I think this one came out after after a combat um i i have not played this one so this is going to be a very sight of another kind of sight unseen uh light gun game from exidy i'm saving the best one for last um <laughs> again starting with the letter c this is crack shot This one also came out in 86. So they put out a bunch of games in 86. Like, they're like, we got this. We figured out how to make video games. We can put out a bunch. sound how do you do it all right oh yeah okay I'm back in all right this 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 is my favorite now this is <laughs> barn girl the varmint the police alley. I, I guess we'll start with the bar and grill, because it's... 
Oh, I'm ready. I'm just shooting whatever. Take that, Pete's. Oh, okay. I'm oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> there are things I'm not allowed to shoot in this bar. I can only break. Oh, you can only shoot a light bulb if it's lit. That's how light bulbs work. <laughs> Good shoots. Bonus points for all extra time. Yeah, that guitar though. Somebody needs to sample that. Oh, what? Oh! Don't shoot the bears? Is that... Don't... What? 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 Is, what is this? I guess this is varmint. I accidentally set it to two players, so that's a thing. Now I get what's happening. Play each level twice. Don't shoot bears. Don't you dare. They'll come get you. Deer, it's okay. Just, just fuck up all the deer, all the goats. You're not allowed to shoot bears. That's what I've learned from the video game. I guess it's gonna be Police Alley. Oh no, this is... Oh. Oh. Wait, wait, what? What are... What? I don't... I don't understand. I don't... I don't understand. Are those Ewoks? They look like Ewoks. I guess they're prairie dogs or moles. I'm not allowed to shoot the bunny. Pe people, human beings made this game. Like somebody sat down, like a bunch of people, like they lived off of. And like there's like little dead bodies just sit there and they're just Hi Miss Even J just enjoying this quality gameplay on your television. We're gonna I guess we're gonna slot machine now. Oh, come on! Are you... <laughs> I didn't... Alright. There's so much happening here. <laughs> I hold on. What? All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a barber shop, eyeball alien, and space ducks that look like. Galaga enemies, and I guess confetti craters, and also it's Missile Command, I guess. <laughs> Alright. That sound! Like the... What's that? Oh my god! Are these space bees? Or...
The people who made this game were high. This is this is incredible. The sounds, like I can't. I need all of these sounds ripped out of this game. What happened there? I didn't even see what. What it? What happened? Why? <laughs> I. That guitar, though. <laughs> that the sound engine on this thing. Are you telling me like that? Like, how am I supposed to know which one not to kill? They all look like bad guys. There's some like copyright issues with this music, by the way. I feel like there's some violations. That guy had like a grenade launcher. No, no, that guy was totally a bad guy. That was a that guy was in the KKK. <laughs> that that guy is not okay. I shot him in the neck. That's good. I'm alright with that. This game's suddenly like my favorite. Now. Don't tell me I lost because I shot the KKK dude. Because that guy was totally like. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Wait. I don't know who's in that elevator. Could have been anybody. They're dead now. This is some real Keystone Cop shit. This is Spy Party. This is a very early version of Spy Party. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this anymore. We're gonna do better this time. We're gonna get all the. Woo! Up. I. Wait. Okay, first of all. <laughs> this, this is like a weird version of Boulder Dash, but with violent robots that I have to kill. Rocks, oh no! You can't kill robots, like, with guns. You have to throw rocks at them. That's... That's how this, that's how robots work. I have to say, I wasn't sure what this one was going to be about, and I think it's about everything. <laughs> Get ready, because God only knows what's next. Like, I guess only shoot uncolorful birds. Like, I feel like the rules of this game are a little unclear sometimes. It's like the Dick Cheney level. Coin noise is really good though. Dun, dun. The music is really inconsistent. You got that like that show tune like jingle, like that sitcom jingle at the end, 
But then you put the coin in, and your fucking 80s rag guitar. We're back in space. Welcome back to space. Yellow, tough luck. We're back to Peach Bar and Grill. Very try and error rule set into this game. Is the sign in mirror and all right? I think that's enough of that one. <laughs> I. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sk I'm gonna skip the next game because I I'm gonna come back to it because it's I just can't believe it exists. It's a game that boggles my my mind. Like it's as mind boggling as these weird things have been. Like these very strange, weird games that exist somehow. The one I haven't played yet that I'm waiting to play is is just too much. Uh. So we're going to play another one I haven't played yet uh, in the same hardware category. Um, this is called... Make sure that the controller is set up right. right. This is 1987. So like 83 was... Cro like Crossbow, 83 to 87. Ram good. Screen Ram good. Um, they've made some changes on the hardware like over time. This is hit and miss. Um, difficulty normal. I, I could adjust the dip switches on these, like, in the settings to maybe make it easier. But I think I think the default is probably the way to go. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Can you beat LWH's score? Probably not, because I don't know how this game works. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Player A for a one player game shoot. Okay. Oh. Level. Uh, that was a level select? Okay. <laughs> it's just. Oh, yeah, so it's the. It's this again. No. no don't. Kill worms and bugs. But not bear again. Like the guy who made this, he's into bears. Don't kill bears, which is a philosophy I usually am into. Let's do the purple bear. What is that? <laughs> Fill buckets for score. Okay. I don't under. I don't... I 
How do I... How do I even? How do I... Okay. Alright. That's working. Yeah, who isn't into bears? Bears are good. There's not a person on this planet who doesn't like bears. And if they are, then we have to have a long talk. Thank that you. level was confusing. Because I think it wanted me to turn off some of the faucets, which made sense. But then those stupid guys, like Woody from Toy Story, kept coming in to open the back of... I don't know. Fill buckets. It's underlined, so you know it's important. Okay, that's... Alright, that's how that works. We're winning. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Who's that guy? That guy's... Alright. So that was better back that time. It's, it's, real, it's a real jam. Yellow. That thumbnail is real useful to let me know what's going to happen here. Bees? Are we trying... No, that's not how bees work. Bees don't eat flowers. They pop... This is... This is... No! Bees don't eat flowers. They pop... They get the nectar. They're important. Bees are important. I... <sighs> Jesus. Pop correct color balloons. Blue or... No. Yellow or kite. No, what? Green? Okay. Green. Okay, so if I miss, it shape. Blue... Red or kite. Yellow. Green? This is a bad game. This is a bad game. This is... I hope I don't have to play that one again. Nope, you got... All right. The problem is it's really hard to tell like when it changes. And it... Ink. Blue. All right, there we go. I just need like one practice game. Orange. Do the scare. Do the scare. What? It went so fast. I'm. I'm. Kind of speechless here. Gotta keep them dancing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. That's a good thank you. It should thank me for putting money into this machine that doesn't exist anymore. There's got to be some surviving hardware for this, right? Somewhere. Like somebody's got one of these. I guess I gotta shoot ducks and devils and frogs. Is that how that goes? And I gotta keep them dancing. Keep dancing. Don't stop, don't stop and <laughs> All of these games are like insane fever. Thank you. Like the... <laughs> Oh 
like, yeah, insane fever dream. Like, somebody was like, one day they had like a, a, an infection and the Excedrin just was not doing it and they're like, I'm gonna design a shooting game, do the Scarecrow Dance. like a high enough score for this to end. So I guess I have to be real precise. There we go. Alright. These are real video games that came out. about the way they crawl into these apples that is unsavory. These are really hard to hit. Like, the hitboxes are just a bit crazy. I gotta see this one through. This one's really hard. Thank you. Thank you. Shooting those little tiny ones is a lot of bonus points. <laughs> Shoot out all the red. Oh no, this is the worst Undertale bonus game. Uh, <laughs> what? No. <laughs> hey guys, we need a bonus game for our shooting gallery. What if we just shot a heart into a million pieces? This has to be a metaphor for something. <laughs> uh. 
Jesus, really? Thank you. D thank you. Is that it? Is that all there is to this game? Is there... Yeah, nope, we're done. <laughs> we're done with that. Let's start with a C. That's that's they kind of decided we have made enough games. Um, with C's, let's branch out a bit. There is one more game with a C. The, the last game I'll play will have a C. Um, this is another one I have not played. This one came out in '88. This they dragged this hardware out for a long time, as you can tell. They're like, this is what we got. We're really good at these. People love our shooting gallery uh, fever dreams, I guess. Any up. Somehow, like, that's this is a game. People. <laughs> this is called Showdown, which, as I understand it, is a like possibly a light gun slash poker game at the same time. Get that crossover fusion going. Written by Larry Hutcherson. Larry, I don't know how many of these games you made. But there's some... We gotta talk about your company. Thank you. Thank you. I love the thank you. These are the best players. LWH. That's probably Larry Hutcherson. Of course you're the best. Thank you. Can Thank you, you. No, I can't beat Larry. Play card. Whoa, okay. Get ready, player. Okay. Any up. Okay. I'll bet. All right. Bets to you. Um. There's got to be like a... button, I guess. I'll see your bet. I'll see your bet. And raise you. I'll bet. And I don't raise know the you. buttons for this game. I'll see your bet. I'll see your bet. Give me two. I'll take three. I'll take one. I'll bet. They're just going to play without me because they folded. And raise you. I'll see your bet. And raise you. I'll bet. And raise you. These sounds. I'll see your bet. I'll see your bet. I'll, I'll All see right. Back wins. All right, why is there a light gun? Like, is it, maybe this isn't a light gun game, but it has that option for some reason. Does this become a light gun game? Any up? There's so much I don't know about this game. I shoot the chips. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. This will cover all bets. Yeah. All bet. We're going all. We got a pair of nines. Me too. <laughs> oh. Okay. So. Your discard. <laughs> that's what, that's what I want. How do I? Should we hear me done? I'll this is like two. okay, so Check. we have All this right. light gun. We have light gun hardware. We made light gun games. What if you use that same hardware to make a poker game? Thank you. Thank that you. has no shooting in it whatsoever. Play <laughs> like, card. Like 
Like, it's not even a skill-based thing anymore, because, like, we're not shooting moving targets. Is there, like, a bonus game where I have to shoot... I can't shoot them. Any up. This is a crazy okay. idea. This is a garbage hand. I'll see your bet and raise you. I'll see your bet and raise you. You bought it. Bets to you. She's got a look. Like, she's, like, kind of come across the table. Um, I'm going to shoot the chips. I'll see your bet. She's got poker face. Oh, 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 okay. Your discard. Um, should go for, like, the flush, like, so, maybe. Whatever. Just keep those face cards. I'll take a two. That's, nope, that's I'll not how I, four. that's not how poker works. That's bad. I'm bad at poker. I thought I could, like, no, nah, I'm gonna bluff, and call, like, ooh, yeah. I'll see your bet. No, no. Hold. Yeah. Ooh. Dolly wins. God. fine shoot shoot your way through poker 2018 this is a weird game to make with like gun hardware like Check. <laughs> got maybe a flush going on I don't know I'll see your bet and raise you I'll see your bet. You bought it. Bets to you. That's all right. I'll take one. I'll take three. This is real bad. I'll check. Check. Ooh. Dolly wins. Yep. All right. I'm not playing poker anymore. That's a real dumb idea. That's a real dumb idea. Just gonna, you know. Also, that came out in nineteen eighty eight. I can think of like a million better games that came out in eighty eight that like had. Like, this hardware is really struggling by the time eighty eight comes around. Um, I can't even. I, my mind is boggled by the idea of we have a light gun hardware, so let's make a poker game. Thanks for sticking with me through this weird garbage. Um, <laughs> I think we're gonna play this one, and then we're gonna play the last one, and I think we'll call it uh, for a night. But we'll, we'll see where this one takes us. Larry Hutcherson getting it done once again. Thank you. Thank you. Um, who done it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. I guess this is a mystery game, but also we're going to shoot stuff. Grandpa's map. Find the key, open the chest. Okay. So, it's a puzzle mystery. I guess we have to start here? We'll start here. Alright, that guy looks rather strange. He's breathing real hard. Is this another... Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Shoot him up clue. Yeah. So it's it's a lot like Crossbow and uh, Cheyenne where we have this idiot. I guess it's Ralph Macchio as the Karate Kid. What was that? What was that that came out of the ground? Was that a horrible devil man? So there's a dog. We have the doors to enter maybe. Gargoyle. All right. The, all right. We're going to try that again. This is a really dangerous mansion. Is Tim Curry here, I wonder? All right, we're gonna try that again. That bandana looks real good on you, man. You look like a real detective. 
All right, gargoyle, horrible devil man. She's got a flower pot. That man looks like a jerk. Oh my god! All right, get rid of the dog. Gargoyle. Bell. I like how it like he <laughs> turns into a skeleton ghost. Gargoyle. Bell. Dog. That's a cake looking thing to hit the bell again. That's a pimp. Yeah. Holy shit! That hits into the guy into the fucking archery! The bird the bird had a knife! The bird threw a knife. What? Why? Snakes, the killer beach ball, daddy ward, lawn darts, there's that pimp again. He's throwing his hat at me. I don't know where she even is. What is that? We're gonna ex All right. That's a ghost with a knife. <laughs> this. <laughs> what was that? What? Pumpkin from the sky. A goat. Lady. She's got. Oh. All right. I'm not. I. That's unnecessary. But I uh, thank you though. <laughs> fire! The fire! <laughs> Moose head. Chandelier. Of course. <laughs> Every. I'm, oh, this is too much all at once. This, they gotta slow down. <laughs> If I'm too loud, let me know. I, I don't know if I'm peeking or not. Like this, is, there's just so many things going wrong for this man who's got to find Grandpa's treasure, which is probably a box. That's a laugh. This, all right. This game is like a nightmare, but I, it's kind of great. All right, so that goes to the pool, which goes to this. Which goes to here. Oh, I see. So we have to start at the beginning. Alright. It starts us outside. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Can I exit? Or... The fire comes to life to kill us. That... The, the, I, was that Robin Williams? There's a ghost. There's a cat. <laughs> Knife ghost. Uh, a library. No, no, yeah, of course the books. The frickin' books. Come off the shelf. This Indian. Yep, that's a lady with a chainsaw who is a nurse. There's a ghost. I can't stop it. The pimp's coming after me. There's like This is like the first black guy to show up in any of these games. Well, no. There's that adventurer friend who was really tall. Wait, oh, okay. Interesting. Of course he's got a knife! Of course he's got a knife! Did she throw scissors at me? That bird's got a knife! Oh, I can- oh, I can- alright. This is even weirder. Alright. That's the lady behind the bookshelf with the tits. Oh my- What happened? What? What? I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> what the fuck is this game? <laughs> or wait to start a new game. No, we're gonna we're gonna get back into this. I'm gonna figure out this. To be fair, I don't think that adventurer friend was racist. Like, there has definitely been some racist bullshit in these games. Except the part where I got to shoot the KKK guy. That was pretty good. Um, got to juggle? It's like, can I air juggle him? Oh, no, no. He had a parachute. <laughs> of course. Of course he had a parachute. And then we're back here. I... Find the key to enter the attic. That's where the flowers are. Flowers are in the attic. Gargoyle, bell, dog, lady. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, you're dead. Yo, 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 yo that's yo, right. Yo, yo, oh, you sh I shot you. Yo. You're telling. That's how that works. Yo, There's, there's a lot going on in this game for, like, just a simple light gun game. There's, like, maybe too much going on. Alright, find the... Enter the attic. Hey, what's up? No, what's she? I'm I'm I need cigarettes. Alright, you can get you some. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, yo! Yo! Alright, he's gonna yo. walk up there. That bird is carrying a cat. Yo! Okay. Alright, we can go indoors. But where does it take us? <laughs> these these bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nurse Ratchet from the was it that lamp was a rocket, right? Like like that's that's what happened there. I shot the person in the TV. This cake. Maybe I have to pick that up. I have to look up a fact for this. Like this is a game that's like really intriguing me because there's so much depth and lore. There's rocket. Uh, Butler, yeah, Nurse Ratchet from uh, One Floor of the Cuckoo's Nest, good movie. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's like, yeah. No, the, the, the. welcome back, Rocket Lamp. Is that, there's something to the Rocket Lamp. I, I destroy the Rocket Lamp. How do I make you change direction? Give me five. I don't know about this game. Alright, I'm gonna do one more shot at this. Thank you. Thank you. Looks like Grandpa has like a bunch of mummies in his attic, which is yeah, breathing. Uh, yo. So the flower pot will take off. Like, I think she's all right. Yeah, yep, he's gonna yo. go this exit. <laughs> Oh, it's a trap door. Okay. But you've got a parachute. That spider is huge. Maybe I push a button? Is there, does he do that? No? I gotta shoot that gargoyle like way earlier. I, I still don't know what that man coming out of the floor is. Uh, like, that that goes through a tomahawk. That's probably racist. From that other game. Where the Indians were hailing Satan. Can I get in the driving board? His pants, blonde art. Yeah, walk up there. We'll, we'll go up there. Snake, a knife. Oh, oh, I don't know about I don't know about this man. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Yes, of course there's a shark in the pool. Why wouldn't there be a shark in the pool? Why? 
Why? Why wouldn't there be? Of course there is. That's time. Oh, I'm ready for that shark. Oh, no shark that time. Where does the pool lead? Same here. All right. That I don't. That like freaking me out. Okay. Interville triangle. Small child. Tit lady. Give me go there. You're up there on the ceiling somehow. I don't know how you're up there. Back in this place. Lock it. Lamp. You're a crazy nurse. If I can't go outside, you're me. No, I... You're almost there, man. You're almost there. Just power walk you away. <laughs> oh, <sighs> Video games, y'all. Alright, as bad as that was. As weird as that was. That was... Actually, that was kind of amazing. I don't know what was going on. I'm going to have to read a fact on that. Because I, I want to go back to that one. Sometime. <laughs> and solve the mystery. Who done it? I don't know. Everybody had knives. Like, literally. Um, we're going to play a game called Chiller. Uh, which came out in 86. Um, again, this exegy... XD light gun hardware. <sighs> Again, this came out in 86. This was in one of my local arcades. This was a game that existed when I was a very small child. Um, long before Mortal Kombat and Night Trap got the Senate and Joe Lieberman and all that ridiculousness long before that this game came out in arcades nobody remembers this game but i do uh. the object of this game is best monster kill the, it says monster killers we're not killing monsters in this game we are doing very hor this is actually very like, graphic so i'm going to like warn you ahead of time like this there's some crazy shit in this game. She's scrim. Look, you're not ready for this. I'm just saying. The graphics are pretty... Yeah. I love this loop, though. I kind of want to sample it someday. Use these clues to find the hidden item for bonus and chance to free game. Um, we're going to just... Alright. I'm just, I'm just going to hit the start button, and you're going to see what this is. Because it's fucking horrifying. shooting you shot up all those people in that torture situation you blew their skin off good job the ectoplasmic tabulator is very satisfied with those results so there's these like hidden things in each stage that you have to shoot and I can never remember them all um, and you show this mosaic and it's you get a bonus level and it's cuts I don't know Like, this is some Eli Roth bullshit, right? This man here, this poor man, you hit this handle, and this dragon comes out and eats him. And that, if that, puts your score up. Like, it's the exact opposite of every other XG game where you're like, you must protect this person. You must keep him from dying. You know, do what you can. This one's like, nah, just fuck shit up. Kill all these people who are like in these horrible situations. Just I can't 
Let's see what the ectoplasmic tabulator says. Good job, it says. <laughs> Bonus points for all extra time. I missed the one guy. Like, I keep missing... The hallway is probably the hardest one. Um... Because you have to shoot, like, a number of targets. Yeah, shoot this guy's eye. Weird skull coming out. There's a mummy in here. Freaking kill that skull. Some weird green guy kill that. Kill that. Music is just really something. Get that guy. Bloody pit of horror, that was it. Um I'm gonna have to look that up. Eli Roth's chiller. No. I missed a bunch of that level. Uh, yeah, it's a graveyard. This is a good game. God, that music, though. Yep, hands. This lady is... This poor lady. So that guy pulls his head off. Shoot that church thing. Shoot that window. That man. I don't know what's going there. That's just a grave that's on fire. That's cool. Blow her there's some tits, that's real fucked up. Thanks a lot, Exit. Video games are fucked up. This was a real game that was in an arcade. By my house. Like that that's blood just comes out of that one. Right? This is fucked up. Yep. <laughs> Some a, a man made this game. And then we loop back to the torture chamber. I just gotta get that last target, and I think I get the bonus round, which I think is a slot machine. blew all their skin off. Now we get the bonus stage. We get this really great music. It's so cheerful. <laughs> what kind of casino is this? No ghosts. There might be some copyright infringement. <laughs> Rip. That's a really good you failed sound. <laughs> Alright, yep. Fart noise. 
noise. Brrr. No. It's... Let's do slot machine again. Let's hear that music again. <laughs> Congratulations. All right, we got the mummy heart. There's a key somewhere. The lady something. The lady's only at the beginning of the level, so it's like... Lady in the trap door, that's it. That's the last thing you gotta get. Fart. That's a good sound. I will give it, the guy who did the sound design on all these games pro pretty good. I hope he did okay. Why would you continue playing this game? Like, like, I'm not wrong, right? This game is kind of fucked up, right? Uh. <laughs> Anyhow, I think that's enough for tonight. I think I had a lot of fun, though. Um, thank you for coming. Uh, I'd like to do this more often. And... <laughs> Let's turn that off. Uh, play more ancient games from my past and surrounding those times. Um, again, like, I actually... That game was in my arcade in 1986 when I was... Four years old? I was four years old watching people play that game. That's... A, that's something that happened um, but yeah I'm gonna call it a night um, you all behave but don't behave too much and I'll tweet again if uh, I do some more of this and give it a follow you'll get notifications because that's how Twitter or that's how Twitch works alright peace <laughs>